can read your enormous signs. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. I know that lots of charities do really good work for incredibly deserving needs and I know that it's, it's not easy to collect money from the public. But in my view, charity collection tactics have gone too far on our high streets. Central high street locations, high footfall areas, that's a no-brainer, fair enough. Large emotive banners that tell the story and try to engage us emotionally, okay, I suppose that's what it takes. Brightly clothed collectors, drawing attention to their cause, okay. But look at this. Can read your enormous signs. Thank you. It seems to me that this is manipulative and it shouldn't be allowed. As I said to this collector, I'm fully aware of what they're collecting for and if I decide to make a donation, I'll walk up and make a donation. But if I decide not to walk up and make a donation, I don't want him approaching me and suggesting that I do. This is calculated manipulation designed to trigger guilt and force a response which a donator would perhaps rather not make. Look how far into the pathway of uh, people walking by this lady is standing. You really have to try hard not to engage with her. And of course that's why she's doing it. She wants to make it very hard for you to ignore her. But at least she's allowing me to go about my business without interrupting me personally. Unlike this lady. So now it's interpersonal. Now it's about manners. She's being nice to me and I have to be nice to her or I'm a nasty man. And such a great cause. How could I refuse her? These ladies will have to turn this man down because he's not giving them any choice. And it seems to me that that's fundamentally wrong. He's just injected a bit of guilt and misery into the day of these people. That's, that's not his job. We, we should make the decisions. Not him. Let's look at this one again. He's just seen me and he's about to move in for the kill. It is, of course, crystal clear to him at this point that I've seen his signs and I've seen him and I've seen his bucket and I know there's a charitable collection and that I've not decided to make a contribution. He has no intention whatsoever of respecting my decision. He intends to try to push me into giving him some money. And this, in my view, is wrong. It's not the kind of conduct which should be normal on the streets of the UK. And it is getting worse. I always used to think this kind of conduct was protected by law, that you weren't even allowed to shake your tin, let alone speak to people or approach them. But in researching it, apparently that's not true and perhaps never was. Um, there's a lot of law, but the people who implement the practical reality on the streets are the fundraising regulator. I spoke to a very nice man there. The long and the short of it is that um, What's legal or not is a matter of opinion and that these people treat cases on a, an individual case-by-case -case basis which seems to me to be ridiculous but there it is. We ran round and round in circles for a while um, he was saying that it's not practical to legislate for um, things like this. I just disagree. You could make a law that says very clearly um, you can display a poster, you can stand there um, with your tin but you mustn't speak to people or approach them. If they can read, they know what you're about, they can make an informed decision. As soon as you open the door to approaching and speaking, you open the door to pressure, and it's that that you can't regulate. So the obvious answer then is, don't let people speak to you. He understood my viewpoint, but um, that's not the way things are, and that's one of the reasons I made this video. Please let me know what you think. There's a poll in the cards, you can do it there. Um, or you can leave a comment below and, and please feel free to be as directly spoken as you want but please don't waste any time saying charities are good I already know that um, and um, if you think I'm a curmudgeonly old bugger yeah I probably already know that too um, but those two comments aside everything else is very welcome and finally although this video features collectors from a charity called Wipe Your Tears 
Um, their tactics are entirely normal. Um, all the high street collectors for charities, as far as I can see, use the same tactics. So this isn't really about them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. Comments welcome.